Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Java Fever, those of you who don't know. Um, sorry if I'm out of focus, like I'm still trying to figure out the focus with this lens and it's driving me nuts because it's a really good lens. It's like, Okay, so that was the pancake. Well, that is the pancake lens on there. Supposed to be. Well, okay. I know, I wanna apologize in advance because I lied, kinda sorta, like clickbait. I do wear deodorant for those of you who are wondering and calling me like nasty on my Instagram because I posted um, on my Insta story that I don't wear deodorant but I told you guys stay tuned because I was going to give you guys a YouTube video explaining I do not use anti uh, however you say perspirant pers I don't freaking know whatever deodorant I don't use it especially if it has aluminum in it why because aluminum it blocks your lymph, not lymph nodes, but it blocks your um your glands that help process the, the toxins out of your armpit, basically. And so, like, why would I want to do that? Cause, you know, myself harm and, like, develop breast cancer more than likely if I continue to use that kind of deodorant. So, if you check your deodorant that you're using, more than likely, I got this from, um, Never used it for those of you wondering. See, I never used it. If you can see it, no, nope, never used it because it has what? The active ingredient is where is the aluminum in here? I know it's here because I just saw it <laughs> the other day. I was looking at it. Here we go aluminum, zirconium, tetra. Chlorohydrex. That is the active ingredient. That's what keeps you from stinking the funk out or whatever you want to call it. It reduces underarm wetness, 48 hour protection. Listen, I used to live by a uh, dove. I used to live by dove, but um, nah, bro. Like we can't, we can't, we can't keep doing this to ourselves. We already got carcinogens in our food and GMO here, GMO there. No. So what I did, I did my research. I found. Now they have scented and unscented. It really doesn't matter. This is um, Arm & Hammer Essentials deodorant with natural deodorizers. And it is aluminum free. I tell you, aluminum free. So let me give you a better look at it. This lighting in my apartment is so horrible. I wouldn't get this one, but this is what they had at Walmart. And this is the unscented one. Let me see. You can see that. Yeah, that's better. So that's what I use. Why? Because one, it's like cost effective. It's probably like $2 or less than $2. And it lasts you for like months. I have this one for like, I don't know, but it's still there. The stick is still there. Like I could, I ain't put a beer on out there. I shower, so let me put this on. Whew. Yeah. the funk out. Keep the funk out. Let me, let me tell y'all, like, it's not only, like, good for your health and it helps you <clears throat> not, you know, develop breast cancer, but if you use it enough and you get all the toxins out your body and, and let, and, you know, let your body do its thing, like, you don't have to wear deodorant if you don't want to. Like, I kid you not, I thought I was going to be smelling like some, some baloney, some, some, like, must, you know, whatever. I thought I was going to be smelling like something crazy out there, but... It was field day and it was hot. I'm in Texas, so it was hot and humid. Houston at that. Hot and humid in Houston. Field day with the kids. I'm like, bruh, I forgot my deodorant. So I'm like, just doing a sniff, the sniff test and, you know, whatever. I was like, bruh. And I got home, I'm like, I don't even smell. Like, I ain't funky or nothing. Like, I ain't got no stank on me. I'm like, bruh, like, this, this is, this is, this is, this is dope. Like, this is amazing. So I think because I used, um, I was using this for, ooh, I was using this for so long, and I was giving my body time to release those toxins from, you know, my my breast area and everything, and it wasn't being clogged up. My bo wasn't as strong as it would have been, you know. Kind of, it kind of makes sense because if you're blocking something and blocking something, and then um, you finally like release it. It's gonna smell like, like, shh. it's gonna smell like, you know what? So, um, this is why a lot of women develop 
breast cancer more than men. Because when you shave, it's like you're allowing that aluminum to go deep inside of your pores. Like, you get me? Because our, our bodies are like sponges. It soaks, it soaks up whatever you put on it or in it. It's going to soak it up. So just think, just be mindful of like what you use on your bodies. Like all these, like I know makeup, I can imagine like, <laughs> I can imagine the stuff that they put in this makeup, but as women, we wear it, we think it's, you know, you know, cues and necessity. I get it. I have makeup on, well, not a lot, but I have it. I understand. So I really wish, like, I can find a line, an affordable line that was, like, organic, like, everything, like, natural. But there, that's my spill. Go get your aluminum free deodorant. Stop, uh, you know what else? Before I leave, you know what else? Do y'all remember? Like, I'm not 11 yet. I was in the third grade. I was in the third grade. I kid you not. And um, they used to make us use like fluoride. I know it's so off topic, but they used to make us. Uh, I wash our mouth mouth out with like fluoride. Like now the kids don't do it. Like were we like guinea pigs or something like that? Like I, I don't understand. I don't. No aluminum deodorant. Don't give yourself breast cancer if you can, like, you know, avoid it, fight, fight it, fight a good fight. Don't be like these other people out here that just don't care. So don't use it. Get you this aluminum free. This is not the only brand that they have either. But like, you can. They have other brands. So um, yeah. Peace. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Sorry for lying too. I just wanted you to like. To